Hi everybody! In this really quick video I'd like to show you the new loop length display in Studio One version 6.1. Again a very small feature, but if you have seen some of my videos you'll know that it's often the small features that I like the most. So this one is really cool especially for content creators, but of course also for musicians and sound designers and basically everybody who wants to know how long a song or a certain song section is. In previous versions we had to open the export mix window and set the export range to the current loop to see the exact length of the loop range. Now we have this nice improvement in the transport bar called loop length display. Once you click this new bracket icon, instead of the start and the end point of the loop you're gonna see the length of the loop range. And you can choose if you like to see it in seconds or bars or frames or samples, nobody will ever need to display it in samples other than for testing, but if you want you can. So let's say I want to export a video of my new piano solo for Instagram and it should be exactly one minute. Ok that's a bad example because they have increased the limit for Instagram posts, but just for the sake of demonstration, if I want to export the video with an exact length of one minute, then I can draw in my loop length from the point where I want to start and while I'm dragging you can already see the length in seconds here in the tooltip. And now I can also use the loop length display to set the loop length just by going into the minutes field, enter the length I want and press tab to jump into the next field. And now my loop range is exactly one minute long. And to get back to the default view just click the bracket again. So this was my really quick video on the loop length display. If you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That's it for today, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.